All right. For this review, it's not going to be one issue in particular. It's going to be a story arc. Donnie Cates, Thanos wins. I'm also not going to review these chronologically. I have to jump around to give you some backstory. Before we start the review, though, let me say two things. I recently went back and I reread these issues. And I had two overwhelming thoughts. The first is, Donny Cates, Thanos Wins, is a modern Marvel classic. Yeah, I said it. And I'm going to prove it. The second thought I had while rereading this was, I can't believe this story was published under the standard Marvel imprint. This story arc probably should have been published under the Marvel Max imprint. Yeah, it's that brutal. Cates was writing with a ferocity that I hadn't seen from him before or since. If nihilism had a spirit or a soul, Donny Cates captured it and Thanos wins. We start off on the planet Chitari. Thanos has single-handedly captured the planet in less than five hours. Then the cosmic Ghost Rider shows up. We need to take a little detour here. I need to give you some backstory on this guy. The cosmic Ghost Rider was once Frank Castle, the Punisher. Frank was killed in combat helping to defend the Earth against Thanos. With his last breath, Frank says he'd give anything to be able to punish Thanos. Mephisto was listening. Castle makes a deal and becomes the spirit of vengeance, Ghost Rider. Galactus shows up, not to feed or destroy, but for help. Thanos has been chasing him across the stars. Battered and beaten, he had barely escaped back to Earth. Ghost Rider, the spirit of vengeance, tells Galactus to hook him up with some crazy cosmic powers and he'll not only help him kill Thanos, but he can eat the Earth when they're finished. Galactus agrees. And so Frank Castle, who had become Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, was now Ghost Rider, Herald of Galactus. But this didn't work out so well for Galactus. Thanos promptly removes his head. Thanos, intrigued by the idea of a Spirit of Vengeance that defies death, offers him a deal. He offers to show him more evil than he can punish in a thousand lifetimes. And with that, Frank Castle makes his third deal with the devil. So the man who was once the Punisher, and then Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance, and then Ghost Rider, Herald of Galactus, was now the Rider, the black right hand of the Mad King Thanos. Alright, so we're caught up on Cosmic Ghost Rider. So we can rewind back to Shatari when Cosmic Ghost Rider had showed up there. He lassos Thanos in fiery chains, and then he tears off Thanos in tow through space and time millions of years from now. He brings the mad titan Thanos before his future self, the mad king Thanos. The mad king tells him, there's no one here to oppose you, boy. You've already won. All right, this is a great place to end this. So this video wasn't so much a review as it was a setup. We now know the Cosmic Ghost Rider's backstory. We know he's gone back in time, captured the present day Thanos, dragged him millions of years into the future, and presented him to the future Thanos. We just don't know why. In the next episode, we'll get into that. It's the meat of the story. I hope you'll join us.